What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be adding Sanity IO to my portfolio website. Just a little small addition to making adding and removing projects a little bit easier. Um, and with Sanity Studio, I can do it all inside the browser. Don't even need to open up my VS Code if I wanna add a project to this section. I decided to go ahead and add it to this project. And I already completed this, but I wanted to get on here to show you guys how I did it because I did a tutorial on this website a few months back. So just in case you guys followed along, you guys can go ahead and add Sanity now to that project. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so head over to Sanity.io and create an account if you don't have one. And once you create an account, you wanna click on Start Building. And it's gonna take you to the user dashboard and you wanna create a new project and copy over this code. Head back over to your VS Code and we're gonna paste that inside the terminal. So now it's asking if we want to create a new project, we're going to click yes. And a project name, I'm going to choose just portfolio dash YouTube. Because like I said, I already created one already for my live site. And I was asking if you want to use the default data set, we're going to say yes. Uh, if we want to add configuration files, we're going to say yes. Unfortunately, we did not use TypeScript in this project, so I'm going to say no. And now it's asking if you want to uh, use the embedded Sanity Studio. I'm going to say yes. And uh, Next.js app directory, yes. And uh, it's asking what route uh, you want your studio. I'm just going to do uh, slash studio, so just press enter. And we're going to do a clean project with no predefined schemas. And then yes to the next question. Now we just got to give this a second to load. All right. So as you can see, it added a folder inside of our project, a sanity folder. And it also added a route inside of our app directory. And this is the embedded uh, sanity studio. Um, so now you want to go ahead and start up your project. I already started my server up and we got our project open. And if you head over to localhost 3000, let's, let me open up a new window, slash studio. Close out of that. As you can see, the Sanity Studio is now embedded on our website. So it's, we have to uh, give it access. So we gotta just click on continue. It's gonna take us back to our um, Sanity IO account. You just want to click on add course, click on continue. It's going to take us back to our project and I think it's going to have a sign in. I'm not sure. There's one. Yep. So we got a sign in with our provider. So it's the same sign in that we used to create our account. Sign in with GitHub and we're signed in. But now it says we have no document types. Um, please define at least one document type in your schema. So that's what we're about to do now. So let's just keep this open and we can keep this open as well. So let's head over to our the sanity folder and inside of it, we actually going to create a new file and it's going to be called projects. Dot JS. All right. And here we're going to go ahead and uh, define our schema. So I'm going to do it yeah, export default. And whenever we define the schema in Sanity IO, it needs to have a name, a name for it. I'm gonna name it projects or just project. And it also gotta have a title. I can name it project. And also gotta have a type. So the type is gonna be a document. Now we need to define the fields. So do fields. This is going to be an array. So the first field we're going to do is a name and a title for this. So each field got to have a name, a title, and a type. We're going to do a title. The title just could be anything you want, to be honest, but I'm just want to name it like that. And the type is going to be a string. So that's our name. A little comma there. 
And then if you head over to, probably should have showed this first. If you head over to our projects, this is how we was uh, doing our projects at first. So we got our name, we got our GitHub URL, image, YouTube, YouTube URL, project URL, deploy is false and true. And then our category. So we're just basically just defining a schema to fit this here. So we got our name so far. Next, we're going to have our GitHub. So we got our name, we got our GitHub URL. And then next one is going to be our image. I'm going to do an image. And the type for that is going to be image. And then the next is going to be YouTube. Uh, and the title for that is going to be um, YouTube. And it's going to be a type Boolean. And after that, we're going to have our YouTube URL. That's going to be a URL as well. And then after that, we're going to have our project URL. So this is if it's deployed or not. And that's going to be a URL as well. And now we're also going to have a Boolean um if it's deployed or if it's not deployed and then last but not least we have our categories so this is going to be a little bit different so this one is going to be um a type array and whenever you use type array you got to use this of and you got to do it like this type string so that's so let's make sure we got everything so we got our name we got a github url image youtube youtube url project URL deployed and our categories. So if you head over back to our projects, name, GitHub, image, YouTube. Okay, it looks like we got everything, perfect. Uh, we can actually delete this file, but we could just keep it there for now. All right, so we got our schema and now we got to head over to our schema.js. I'm going to import it here, import projects. And that is coming from, oh, uh, let's see. What do we name it? Projects? Okay, yep, projects. Projects. And that's going to be coming from dot slash projects. All right. And the only thing we got to do is just put it in here. Projects like that. Let's go ahead and save that. And let's head back over to our Sanity Studio and let's see if it shows up now. Perfect. Click on it. And let's go and try to add one. I'm just going to probably just add maybe two and then. All right. So for the name for this one, let's just go ahead over to our. We're going to do Explore X. I'll copy this. Paste it there. GitHub URL. Just gonna copy that. Paste it. And for the image, just gonna drag over Explore X image. And YouTube was true. So I mean, I did a YouTube tutorial on it. I'm not sure if you guys are gonna have these options. Um, if you guys put um, YouTube or anything in yours. So YouTube and project URL. So I didn't deploy this one. So we're going to do deploy is false. And then category is Tailwind, MongoDB, React. I'm just going to put uh, Tailwind. And then we're going to put MongoDB and maybe just React. React. Actually, I'm just going to change this to uh, Prisma. All right. And then we're going to click on publish. All right. So document has published. So let's actually try to fetch this project and have it show up inside of our projects component. So let's head over to page.jsx. And here, this is where we're going to fetch our data and send over the data to our projects component. So we have to import client and this is going to be coming from dot dot slash sanity slash lib slash client. And now we need to make our 
get data function. And it's going to be async. So do async function get data. And this is in the docs. So if you guys want to read over read over uh, sanity docs, they got pretty good documentation. Pretty straightforward. So we'll do a const query. It's going to equal backticks. We we'll do a star brackets. Do underscore type. And it's going to equal to project. We we'll do brackets. Now we're going to just um take over all of uh, our entire schema, all of the names inside of our schema. So we're going to do which we got a name. We did a GitHub URL. We did image. The YouTube. The YouTube URL. URL. We did project URL. We did deployed. And last but not least, we did category. All right. And after that, we're going to do const data that's going to equal await client dot fetch and that's going we're going to fetch the query now all we got to do now is just um, return data all right so now let's go ahead oh, let's go async wrong a sync all right make sure this is right type equals project forget quotes there and perfect all right so we got our data and now we want to send over the data to our projects but we don't want to just send it like that so let's actually put a name with it so we're going to do a cons projects and it's going to equal await dot get data that and since we're using await we have to um that dot sorry so we, since we're using await, we got to make this an async function. So we'll do async that. And let's go ahead and send over this data now. We do projects, go projects like that. Perfect. All right. So let's head over to our projects component and let's take in these props. We're going to do projects. All right. And we shouldn't have to touch anything, to be honest. Only thing we got to do is send over the props to our project filter. Because if you click on project filter, here is actually where we're importing the projects. So let's comment this out. And let's send over the data to this component. Do projects. That's going to equal projects. We're going to get some errors. Uh, all right, save that. Now we got to take in the props here. So we'll do projects like that. And let's give that a save and let's hopefully that works. <laughs> we should be able to see just one project there. Um, let's make sure. So we got so yeah, this is our filter, our project card. Well, we got a bunch of useless imports in here that we never got rid of. Let's get rid of all of this stuff. We don't need that anymore. All right. And now let's take a look, scroll down. Okay. We got our project there, but we don't got an image. And, um, so for us to get an image, we actually got to head over to our client. So inside of this lib, we got to configure this client.js file a little bit. Let's go ahead and import image URL builder. And that's going to be coming from, uh, we're going to do at sanity image dash URL. And we're going to do a cons builder to equal image URL builder and that's going to take in our client all right now after that we're going to do an export function URL 
four. That's going to take in a source. Then in this function, all we're going to do is just return our builder dot image source like that. All right, let's give that a save. And we're still not going to see the image because we actually got to head over to our project card and we got to import. Uh, I believe it's like URL for uh, so project card. So we got to import URL for and that's going to be coming from our sanity lib client. And then down here for our image. We have to do instead of just image like that, we got to do URL or image dot URL like that. Give that a save and hopefully this image shows up. All right, perfect. So we got our image and let's make sure our links work. That takes us to that YouTube video. Nice. All right, so everything is working fine. So we're really complete. Uh, you just want to just add all the projects that you have at it. So um, the reason why I like this is I can close out of VS code, right? So actually, I'm just going to go to my live site, which is TonyRogers.com. And so if I want to add a new, new project to my project folder, I mean, my project component, one thing I got to do is go to AntonioRogers.com slash studio. And here I can add my projects. It's got to sign in add my projects and then it'll just show up inside of my uh, project component. Really simple, a little small addition. It's nothing, you know, too fancy, but, um, you know, whenever I want to add another project to that section, you know, that's all I have to do. So that's really it for this um, little short video. Uh, I know my videos are normally like 10 hours long, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm actually working on a full stack e-commerce site. Uh, it's going to be a dev clothing store uh it's gonna be pretty it's really cool um it's gonna have authentication with next auth um prisma mongodb um a bunch of other stuff that that i haven't used yet it's, it's pretty it's really big and taking my time on it so um yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i will see you guys next video peace